Fuck shades, full games, no commentary. Communism is a red plague that threatens all of Europe unless we can halt its spread. In June 1941, Operation Barbarossa, the Fatherland's audacious preemptive strike against the Bolshevik menace, won us countless victories and took our forces to the very gates of Moscow itself. But any army, even one such as ours, must give ground when facing an enemy possessing seemingly limitless numbers. In 1942, the High Command decreed Moscow unworthy of German blood being spilt in its name. Instead, it sent the Sixth Army south to secure a different prize, the city of Stalingrad. Its capture will sever the Soviets' vital trade route to the Caspian Sea and allow us access to the oil-rich city of Baku. Our inevitable successes shall deliver a devastating blow to the already crumbling Russian war machine. The men have entered the city and are poised to launch a series of attacks designed to wipe out the remainder of the Soviet 62nd Army. Resistance has been sporadic. No doubt the enemy is digging in, determined to extract as high a price as possible for the city named after their leader. We will methodically locate each enemy strong point, isolate it, then destroy it. No doubt the Russians will, whenever possible, carelessly spend Bolshevik lives, launching suicidal counterattacks. So we must be cautious. While the world has never seen a force as highly trained as ours, the Russians have proven themselves stubborn opponents, and it would be foolish to underestimate an enemy as desperate as they. I am confident of victory, though the thought that our flanks are guarded by Romanians and Italians fills me with unease. I wish as do the men for a swift victory and swifter journey home. 31st August 1942. Spartanovka. The Fatherland's forces have made excellent progress toward Stalingrad. Our swift advance has caught the Soviets by surprise, an advantage we should capitalize on. So our forces can safely breach Stalingrad's walls without fear of attack from the rear. We've been tasked to secure the village of Spartanovka. But Ivan is not going to surrender this sorry pile of bricks without a fight, so we'll have to take it from him. First, take the church. Use the gullies for cover on the way in and watch for enemy fire coming from the windows. Then move to clear the first housing block. Remember, Russian soldiers love dirty close-quarter fighting. So watch your backs going room to room. Next, clear the second housing block. Again, be careful and watch your flanks for stray enemy activity. Finally, once the other three objectives are secure, move to capture the town hall to the east. We think it'll be the most heavily defended enemy position, so make good use of the cover wherever possible. It's a simple mission, but you'll still need to work fast. Remember your training, while the Bolsheviks are ill-prepared. Never underestimate their willingness to spend lives if it means spilling even just a drop of German blood. Attack the enemy men! Remember your mission! For glory!
weapons! Bonds a battle for Germany. 5th September 1942, Western Stalingrad. As our high command suspected, the Russian army is poorly prepared to face the full might of Germany's finest. And even now scurries deeper into the city. We've driven back the local Bolsheviks, and they marshal the remaining forces in the so-called Red Barracks. I have orders to clear the last of the resistance in the area. This will be a nighttime mission. So the moon is full, so you'll be able to see. Begin your assault by securing the warehouse. Be sure to clear the upstairs offices before moving on. Then eliminate all resistance in the political school to the south of the warehouse. It's a single-story structure, which should present few problems. Next, capture the infirmary. It's little more than a two-story ruin. But no doubt calling with Russians. So be sure to use cover where possible. Your final objective is the administrative hall to the south of the infirmary. It's mostly intact, so watch those windows. The Luftwaffe has reduced the area to rubble, but proceed with caution. Poorly trained and ill-equipped though he is, at close quarters Ivan makes for a cunning foe who loves nothing more than to drive his rusty blade into honest German flesh. Stay focused. Ivan is most dangerous in defeat. Do not underestimate the enemy! Get in there and finish him quickly!
Bolshevik! Again, we have crushed our enemies. Been three days in the hell of Stalingrad. One has no idea what is happening there. This surpasses everything experienced so far. The city is continually getting smaller, and the ruins are getting bigger. Every house must have been destroyed, and often battles are fought for mounds of rubble. The artillery is smashing into it. Tanks and infantry comb the street, and this is the toughest work. Everyone who gets out alive may thank God. Gefreiter Otto Lanz, 305th Panzerjägerabteilung. 15 September 1942, Stalingrad Central Station. We have been tasked with securing Stalingrad Central Railway Station. I won't lie. The Russians have fought hard to keep the place, but it's time to end this farce. The building itself has taken substantial bomb damage from the Luftwaffe. But be careful, as that just gives Ivan a bunch of rat holes to hide in. Some of the building is caved in, which may actually give us extra routes in, so keep your eyes open for opportunities. You'll approach the station from the north. Your first objective is to secure the rail yard. Be sure to clear any Soviet troops stationed inside damaged train cars. Once the platform is secure, move to take the station's north hall. It's a three-story structure that suffered some bomb damage but is still more than capable of providing Ivan with lots of hiding places. Next, take the central hall to the south. It's little more than a two-story ruin, but again, Ivan likes his rat hole, so stay alert. Finally, capture the south hall. We suspect this to house the largest concentration of Russian troops. So be especially wary here. And be sure to watch for enemies trying to flank you. Dismissed! Listen, all of you. Focus on the task. Follow my orders and you might just live through this campaign.
Fascist! Take out that shoulder! Again, we have crushed our enemies. 20th September 1942. Grain elevator. Southern Stalingrad is almost ours, but one last Bolshevik unit stubbornly occupies the district's grain factory. Our mission is to clear them out. The elevator itself is a brute of a building, solid concrete. The artillery have been hammering away at it for the last 24 hours, but it really isn't making an impression on it. 
Our armor can't get close as the Bolsheviks can simply shoot down on the tanks. So this is going to be one for the infantry alone. We'll approach from the west. First, secure the way station at the facility's main entrance. It's an open space, so find cover where you can. Once the area is secure, move to take the conveyor tower to the northeast. Its height will make it ideal for Russian snipers, so move quickly and again look for cover. Then head north and establish a foothold on the factory's grain elevator's ground floor. When the floor is ours, work your way up and capture the second floor's south side. Finally, capture the structure's fourth floor. Beware, this is where resistance will most likely be strongest. The enemy are determined and relentless, but failure in this vital mission is not an option. Know that Germany's pride rests on your capable shoulders. Clean kill. I am in pins. Don't let them get past us.
Give me a sec. Smell you from here, Rus. Your side, hold your fire, hold your fire. Almost through my ammunition. We'll all get iron crosses for this. Our battalion is attacking the grain elevator with tanks. Smoke is pouring out of it. The grain is burning. And it seems that the Russians inside set fire to it themselves. It's barbaric. The battalion is taking heavy losses. Those are not people in the elevator. They are devils and neither fire nor bullets can touch them. Willy Hoffmann, 94th Infantry Division. 
26 September 1942. Spartanovka. We took this stinking village three weeks ago, men, but our supporting units haven't managed to clear the Bolsheviks completely from the area. The enemy grouping by the river has actually broken out and is pushing this way. We only have minutes to get organized. We don't have the time to set up defense right through the village. But we're going to pull back and let the Bolsheviks come to us. That will buy us a few minutes to get the machine guns in place. Get a defensive line set up in the old church. It is a solid building with good fields of fire through the housing blocks to the town hall where the Russians will be attacking from. I want men on the machine guns. Cut the reds down before they get close if you can. If you dig in, you should be able to hold the church. If they break into the church, either push them out or if all else fails, pull back to the gullies behind. We must not retreat any further than that. This Russian attack stops here. Get to your positions! Los! Get into defensive positions and be ready to ambush them, Schutzen. Stay calm and make every shot count. What's my friend? 
again. We have crushed our enemies. Stalingrad is no longer a city. By day, it is a cloud of burning, blinding smoke. It is a vast furnace, lit by the reflection of the flames. When night arrives, one of those scorching, howling, bleeding nights, the dogs plunge into the Volga and swim desperately to the other bank. The nights of Stalingrad are a terror for them. Animals flee this hell. The hardest stones cannot bear it for long. Only men endure. From the diary of an unknown German soldier. Six October, 1942. West of the tractor factory. We are on the approach to the factory district here. The overall plan is to squeeze the Reds into smaller and smaller spaces, probably in the factories themselves, then destroy them there. We have the right flank of the division and will lead the turn towards the tractor factory. So our task today, men, is to clear out the apartment blocks in front of us. The battalion believes that there is only a small Russian force holding the area. But they have the cover of substantial buildings that are reasonably intact, so be careful. The first step is to get across the gully and clear the blocks on the far side of the bridges. Look out for MG and sniper fire from the buildings around you, but keep pushing them. If the bridge is secure, rush for the propaganda house and take it. It has a basement, so remember that too. The Reds will be on the run, so push them through the so-called Potapova Park as quickly as you can. Use an MG or sniper to cover the open areas. Don't let them regroup. Finally, get into the general store building on the far side of the park. If they've lost everything else, expect them to dig in there. But get in there and finish them off. Good. Get to your start point, men.
Again, we have crushed our enemies. 7th October 1942. West of the tractor factory. Achtung, Männer, quickly. The Russians have got behind us. Damn gangster methods again. They're trying to do to us what we did to them yesterday and push us out of the block. This cannot happen. If they force us into the open ground beyond, we'll have no chance. The rest of the battalion will have to break through the Bolsheviks to join up with us. But that means we're on our own for now. But we've been in this situation before and won. Now we will do the same again. So, squad leaders, look to where you position your men. We can't afford heavy casualties, so be careful. They'll come in over that gully, so cover both bridges. Ideally, we can stop them before they break in. Rather than lose everyone, pull back to the propaganda house if you must. If you can't hold that, then fall back through the little park and all the way back to the general store building. But we must hold them somewhere in there, or we are finished. 
and we're not going to rot in some Bolshevik prison camp. Pick one of those objectives and hold it to the last round. We have to hold out. Stay focused. Ivan is most dangerous in defeat. Do not underestimate the enemy. Get in there and finish him quickly. Fight cover! Finish him! We'll all get iron crosses for this. Bayerstorff is now in hospital for the third time, wounded in the arm. Soon there will be no more men left. The fifth has today lost its seventh commander. All hell's been let loose in the city. We face each other at 20 meters. Our men often hit the Russians on the head with spades. Yesterday a soldier pulled at one end of a machine gun, a Russian at the other. A hand grenade finished it off. Oberleutnant Hans-Joachim Martius, Sturmschwadron 24. 14th October 1942, 9th of January Square. Our attacks through this part of the city have stalled. Mostly against these damn Russian strongpoints they have set up in the ruins. We are only 300 meters from the river and the landing stage bringing in their reinforcements. That is why this is so important to the enemy. Make no mistake, men, this will be a tough one. We aren't the first one to be thrown into this particular mess, so we'll do this right. Engineers, I want you to blow anything really stubborn to hell. I'm not losing the rest of the battalion for one damn house. So, listen carefully. We'll take it one piece at a time. 
Start with the Hohen Voyant talk building and watch out for Bolsheviks high in the Hohens. We take that, consolidate, then hit the next ruin. Sobolotny or some such Ruski name. Same danger above. MG and sharpshooter, cover high, please. The rest of you, get in and blast anything that moves. Then we get to the piece everyone else has failed on. Pavlov's house. We need cover. MG and smoke to get across the street. Or just run like hell. We'll go in the west end and we have to clear it floor by floor. Work together. Cover each other. Once we've poken in at the west end, we'll work through the building to the east end and clear her Pavlov out of his damn nest. That's clear? Good. Get to your positions. And let's get this done. Good luck.
Again, we have crushed our enemies. Attack and defense. Assault and counter-assault. Constant burning. Yelling, mortar and artillery fire. Stalingrad has become a living hell. Rubble has become fortresses. Destroyed factories harbor deadly sharpshooters. Behind every lathe and every machine tool lurks sudden death. Every corner and every cranny threatens a sudden burst of automatic rifle fire. Every foot of ground has to be literally torn from the defenders. Oberst Herbert Zelle, Engineer Detachment, 6th Army. 13th November 1942, behind the Barricadi gun factory. Good morning, men. This attack is intended to clear the last Russian defenses before the river, so we can expect determined resistance. We have engineer and armored support, so let's make use of it. I want the armor to prioritize enemy infantry targets. Strong points holding up the infantry. Only take on enemy armor if you consider them a real threat to your support role, please. Stay on hand. Give the infantry cover and close support. First, building 81 to clear the assault route. It's a small building, take it quickly and don't get held up. Beyond that, we need to get into that commissar house, the north side first. Dub HE into it to cover the infantry's approach. 
Then destroy any Ivans you can see. The infantry will push through the building to take the south end. The armor needs to keep pace outside. If possible, push the armor ahead and prevent any further Russian reinforcements. But be very careful. You are at risk without infantry support. The last step is to clear the pharmacy building beyond. Use HE, smoke, machine guns. Whatever support you can give, the infantry have to take that damn building. Thank you, man. Get ready. Yes, sir!
targets.
victory! We'll all get iron crosses for this. 13th November 1942. Behind the Barricadi gun factory. A doubt! Quickly, everyone! Hurry! The Russians are counter-attacking already. Well, we were warned they wouldn't give up this area easily. We need to buy time to bring up the rest of the battalion. We have to hold the line with what little we have here, and you are it, men. All our gains to date rest on your determination, so don't let the deaths of your comrades be in vain. Take your sniper team and set up in the projection booth. You have a good field of fire from there. Scharfschütze, you're best used firing from the upper windows, while the rest of the team hold the ground level. You'll have to make every shot count on this one. Pick your targets carefully, but do it fast. Try to hold out in the booth. But if you're forced out, fall back to Building 81. It won't be a great defensive position, but that is all you have. Use the anti-tank rifle carefully if they throw in tanks. Look, the Bolsheviks want this place back, and they're not going to stop. You are all we have. Sorry, man, but this has to be done. We have no choice. Now get going. God go with you. From here, Rus. Enemy spotted. Burning to me. Return fire. Return fire. Enemy fire. Enemy down. Running out of bullets quick.
Again, we have crushed our enemies. It slowly is getting colder here. Long-lasting rains, yes, even snow showers announce the coming season, the Russian winter. Will we experience it here? All this now adds to the difficulties of the battle. The losses in men and materials have risen so high that it simply cannot be imagined that the units that led the attack from the beginning are to remain in operations. Leutnant Joachim Stempel, Panzergrenadier Regiment 103. 20th November 1942, northwest of Stalingrad. Listen carefully, all of you. The Soviets are attempting to break through the lines here at the airfield. Obviously, we have to stop them, or their armor will be all over our airfield and headquarters areas. They are attacking in strength. Large number of T-34s expected. We can outgun them, but they have the numbers, so support each other. We will set up defensive lines, falling back only if we are in danger of being completely destroyed. But we must hold the station area. The first defensive line is the airfield. Get there quickly, and we can catch the enemy in open ground. If necessary, fall back to the ruined administration buildings and set up there. You can fall back further to the dispersal field if you have to, but do not give up either lightly. The final defensive position, which must be held at all costs to prevent a complete Russian breakthrough, is the area around Gumrak Station. If we have to retreat that far, then there is nowhere beyond that to go. The enemy has to be destroyed there. You all know your tasks. See you after the battle. Yes, sir. Get destroyed, sir. Blow it! Get out of the heat in our rear! Move this thing now! This is an 
Hands up, hands up, Move back! Yes, sir. Target destroyed. Double right here. a battle for Germany. There is nothing but the rhythm of explosions, more or less distant, more or less violent. There are the cries of the wounded, or the agonizingly dying, shrieking as they stare at a part of their body reduced to pulp. There are tragic, unbelievable visions which carry from one moment of nausea to another. Guts splattered across the rubble and sprayed from one dying man onto another. That is how we took part in the German advance. Unknown soldier, 6th Army. 21st November 1942, Red October factory. Good evening, men. This is one of the last Bolshevik strongholds we have been chosen to break it. The factory has been fought over for weeks and is ruined. So there's plenty of cover for the enemy. This will be a night attack, so the swine can't see us coming. I don't need to explain to you all how important this is. I know you're all tired, but we are close to the end now. If we can break them here, there really won't be much resistance left. We should catch them by surprise, take the sheet finishing hall quickly. The surprise won't last long. As we move forward to the forging area, we can expect the resistance to stiffen. If we are lucky, we may catch them all sleeping, but I doubt it. The calibration workshop is likely to be a harder job. We have to cross open ground to get to it, and the ruins inside will give the Reds plenty of cover. Use your grenades, use smoke. If we can clear the workshop out, our final push is into the finished products warehouse. Again, open ground to cross to get there, so be careful. I expect cover fire from the MGs, smoke from the squad leaders to get your troops in there. I expect them to fight to the last man. The river's not far behind their warehouse, so they'll have nowhere left to run. Now, let's finish them all off, men! Troopers, only pockets of resistance remain! Now go, and cleanse the land of these Bolsheviks!
for my camarade.
victory! We'll all get iron crosses for this. The battle to take Stalingrad in the name of the Fatherland has been a brutal one. But in truth, victory was always inevitable. The Bolsheviks fought hard against forces superior to theirs in almost every way, but despite their best efforts, most enemy units on the west bank of the Volga have been eliminated, and the German Sixth Army occupies most of the city. The last scraps of Soviet resistance cling hopelessly to a few key areas, but even these will soon crumble. We will not waste precious German lives needlessly in the final days of battle. So these stubborn Red Islands will be eliminated by small hand-picked units. I cannot help but feel that the hard work is finally behind us. That soon all of Stalingrad will be in German hands. There is every chance we will soon be able to return home, welcomed as heroes, back to the loving arms of our wives and children, and able to enjoy a warm Christmas. After months of bitter struggle, I can think of no better gift for the men. Germany's unprovoked invasion in June 1941 caught Mother Russia unawares. We paid a terrible price for trusting the Führer and his fascist dogs. Their armies swept across our land, well-trained and well-equipped, stopped only at the gates of Moscow before being driven back. While millions of Russia's sons and daughters paid the ultimate price for victory, they showed the world Germany can bleed too. The fascist war machine now thirsts for the bounty of Baku's oil fields and our beloved Stalingrad. But they will be denied. No more will we abandon our people in the face of Nazi aggression. Here, in Stalingrad, we stand. Here, we destroy the German invaders or die trying. The Germans think our 62nd Army is on the verge of collapse. They are wrong. We are bruised, but stand ready to defend Stalingrad to the last man. We hold the city for now, though our only safe passage for reinforcements and supplies is across the Volga. Our artillery is being moved to the far back, still able to do its job, but harder for the Germans to target. Now we take the fight to them. Reclaim every apartment block, street, and factory taken in the name of their precious leader. Our forces will stay close to those of the enemy, turning their every waking moment into a nightmare. Each will know they are in our sights, and that death is coming for them. Our outer defensive line must hold as long as possible, so we can marshal Stalingrad's defenses. Once a position is prepared, a Soviet soldier will only withdraw. Once their ammunition is spent, the building is in ruins and their coats are on fire. We will grind down the invader spirit and when it finally breaks, surround the German forces and crush them. We are soldiers of the Red Army! There will be no surrender, no retreat! By Stalin's orders, we will have victory! <laughs> Let's go! 
Victory! We will all be... 6th September, 1942. Western Stalingrad. The Germans took the Red Barracks from us. Our comrades, our brothers, lost their lives trying to defend it. Some of you were here too. Tonight, it is our turn. We will take it back from them by orders of General Zhuikov himself. We must get in amongst them. Fight them hand to hand in the ruins. They will not be able to stand against us if we take the fight to them. They will break and run or they will die here. We will attack the administration building first. It is a big, solid building and they are likely to have defenses set up already. We will rush them, catch them by surprise. From there, we will sweep straight through to the old infirmary. With their line broken, we must move fast. Don't allow them to catch their breath. To the infirmary, and then beyond that, to take back the political school from the fascists. Our final objective will be to attack and clear the warehouse building in the corner of the barracks. Their resistance will be broken by this time. We will sweep them before us, comrades. For the motherland! Vataku! Vataku! Comrade Stalin demands victory in this campaign! Let's give it to him! The Stalina!
15th September, 1942. Guardsmen, pay attention. We have a difficult mission to do. 10th NKVD have been holding off the fascist attacks here at the station for days. But they are almost all dead now. It is our turn. We are ordered to take over the area and hold it from all further attacks. Every man will fight while he still draws breath. Fight until every German is killed. We are Rodimtsev's guardsmen. We will fight here, die here if we must, but not one of the fascists will get past us. 
At first, we will try to stop their attacks out in the rail yard itself. Take every opportunity to kill yourselves and German, comrades. The second line of defense will be the station building itself. The Germans have bombed it and burnt it, but it still stands and will be a strong fortress for us. We will defend the North End as long as possible. If we can prevent the fascist scum even getting into the building, then they will fail. The next line of defense will be the Central Hall. Make the scum fight their way for every centimeter through the building. Our last line of defense will be the South Hall. We will not retreat from there. Good luck to you all. No more of Stalingrad falls to these invaders. We have ground their offensive to the whole artillery. The fascists are desperate now. We make them stand here. Victory, Victory brothers. for the motherland! The station building is in flames. Walls are blown apart, iron buckles. But our people carry on fighting. By evening, the Germans have still not managed to take the building. The fighting in the nail factory goes quiet for a time, and breaks out again even more fiercely. In short skirmishes, knives, spades, and the rifle bats come in handy. Lieutenant Anton Dragon, 13th Guards Rifle Division. 19th September, 1942. Stalingrad Elevator, my friends. 
Let us make no mistake about our situation. They're cut off from the rest of 62nd Army. They are surrounded here. It seems hopeless. But we can make a difference. The eyes of the army, of the motherland, are watching us and they are depending on us. The Germans have attacked before. Now they realize that we will fight. They have killed plenty of them already in their attempts to take the elevator from us. Their artillery and tanks cannot reach us inside the elevator, so they are going to have to try to take it from us by hand. And comrades, we are going to make them pay. For the next assault, we will try to stop them forward at the way station. Kill them as they come across the approaches. If they are too strong, then we will regroup on the conveyor tower in front of the elevator itself and defend there. Again, there is open ground to kill them on. Use it. If they force us back, we will use the elevator itself as a fortress. We will make them fight their way in and fight for every floor. We will hold the ground floor. We will not let them get a foothold in the building. Then we will use the second floor to regroup again. And if we are too weak, then we will use the fourth floor as our last defense. There will be no retreat from there. There will be nowhere left to go. Comrades, we know our duty. We will do our duty to Comrade Stalin, to this city, and to our people. We stop the fascists here! This is Stalingrad! Stalingrad! The name of our glorious leader! Everything hinges on this city now! Pull yourself together and find a Stalingrad! Help me finish it!
Again, we have crushed our enemies. We are short of ammunition and have no source of supply since we are surrounded. And we have nothing to eat. We feed on the grain that filled the elevator. We also have no water and no communications with the regiment. We give no consideration to surrender and decide to keep on fighting. Perhaps in our last battle. It is terrifying. Everything around and within the elevator is burning. But we hold out and defeat the attacks. Yosef Abramovich Putienko, commanding the machine gun company in the elevator. 26 September 1942, Spartanovka. This village is where our unit first saw action a few short weeks ago. The line has been quiet here since then, and the fascists think they have nothing to fear. It is time to change that. We will remind every single one of them that they are going to die trying to take Stalingrad from us. They are not prepared for this attack, so let us make best use of the surprise. Speed in the attack with our storm groups is essential. Grenades, submachine guns, and courage, comrades. We will start by assaulting the town hall. Squad leaders, get your men in there fast. Hit the Germans hard before they realize what is happening. Clear the building, then push up through the old housing blocks. Block two first, then block one. When you get in position to attack the old church, put smoke out to cover your men across the street, if the Germans have anything left to defend with. And make sure there are none of the scum left in the housing blocks behind you. If possible, use your machine guns to cover your final assault as well. So, move your men fast and hit them hard. They shouldn't be expecting this assault. They have nearly pushed us into the Volga, but they can't kill us all, товарищи! We must have them! You boy have brothers more time! Battalion! 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 Battalion!
Target 6970. Grid buff 43. Repeat buff 43. Mortars, high explosives. Fire when ready. Over to you. Reloading! We have won the battle for the motherland! 7th October, 1942. The stinking fascists pushed our comrades out of this block yesterday. So we are damn well going to take it back from them today. The forces here are actually cut off. So we can exterminate them completely if we make this attack count. The hardest part will be getting across the galley into the block. The storm group will have to be extremely fast and aggressive to get in amongst them as quickly as possible. Do not stop for anything. Get smoke out for cover and charge them. Get into that first apartment block and clear them out so the rest of the company can reinforce you. 
Then we will punch through to the propaganda house. You know the layout by now. Go direct, use the basement, go around, I don't care. But get in amongst them and kill them. Break their will, make them run, and then chase the fascists past the old bathhouse in Potapova Park and out through the general store. Remember, guardsmen, if you get held up at the gully and the bridges, you must force your way in, or the attack fails right there. Push the Obliutki out of their cozy little nest and destroy them all. These fascist invaders think they have us beaten! Show them Bolshevik courage! Not one step back! Only forward! To arms! Take cover! Stop shooting! You're so friendly! Calm down! Kill that Suki!
Again, we have crushed our enemies. Our soldiers courageously defend every building at each meter of their native soil. In one of the counterattacks, our soldiers, led by regiment commander Major Sevkin, end up in desperate straits. They are surrounded by the enemy and fight to the last cartridge. All die heroically. Not retreat. Viktor Georgievich Otmolovsky, 351st Rifle Regiment. 12th November, 1942. Tom Pavlova. Tovarish, the house on 9th January Square has been defended for six weeks. And we aren't done yet. We're expecting yet another Hitlerite attack shortly. We will stop it here, in the ruins of Zabolotny's house. Machine gunners, I want you to pick your positions carefully and give us the best possible fire support. There should still be a couple of Maxims out there. If you get the chance, get on one, for good measure. We will dig into these ruins, with Pavlov's house behind us. The fascists will come from the south and the west, as usual. So be ready for them. If we cannot hold here, then we will fall back to Pavlov's house and join the defenders there. But we will only retreat if there is no choice. Regroup around the anti-tank placements in Pavlov's house. Machine gunners will help man the heavy machine guns already in place in the house. And make best use of them. Today we destroy more Hitlerites, comrades! No more of Stalingrad falls to these invaders! Hold this ground! We have crowned them as enemies to the whole Stellaris!
We will all be heroes of the Soviet Union. Day after day we keep up our defense. Day after day we repulse the Hitlerites' attempts to break into the house, killing one ten after another. Of course it's hard. But we remember the words of our division commander, General Rodimtsev, who said that we guardsmen would stand at Stalingrad or die. Guard Sergeant Yakov Fedotovich Pavlov. 13th Guards, Rifle Division. 13th November, 1942. Barricade Lower Settlement. We have a hard task today. We have all seen the fighting here behind the Barricade. The Germans have thrown in their very best assault engineers in their desperation to take this place, and we have made them bleed for it. Today, we are after more of their blood. We will come in behind them and surprise them. Make the best use of that surprise. Get as close as possible before opening fire. Our sniper will help keep their heads down and cover the approach. First objective is Dome 81. Sniper, I want you to support the assault by looking for and killing any of the Hitlerites who are holding up the assault. As always, look for leaders and machine gunners. If they stick their heads up, take them off. From there, we will assault the P-shaped house, what the Germans call the Commissar's house. Take the north end first. Then fight your way through the building to the south end of it. Sniper, you may need to join the fighting inside the building. The final push will be across the street into the building with the pharmacy on the corner. The assault group will need cover from smoke, machine guns and our sniper. Make every shot count. One bullet, one fascist, comrades. These fascist invaders think they have us beaten. Show them Bolshevik courage. Not one step back, only forward. Oh, my God. 
Бин! Дай, сука! They have won the battle for the motherland! The northwestern perimeter of the city is the scene of savage encounters, and every street and every house has been turned into a battlefield. There is hand-to-hand -hand fighting in the suburbs. The first floor of the building is often occupied by the Germans, while the Red Army continues to hold the second and third floors. Floorboards are yanked up and gaps made in ceilings and walls. There is fighting in apartments and corridors. Anonymous Red Army soldier. 4th December 1942, northwest of Stalingrad. Comrades, last week we achieved the breakthrough that we needed. Today we must go further, faster, so that we can surround the whole giant nest of Hitlerite vipers. Ahead of us is one of their airfields. We believe it is protected by armored forces, which we will destroy. The armor is our target. The infantry following behind us will deal with any airfield personnel. Have no pity on them. No mercy. Remember our own troops who have been holding on in Stalingrad these last three months to buy us the time to make ready. Now it is our turn to do our duty. The snow has frozen, so it should be no trouble. We will move at full speed onto the main airfield area itself and destroy any fascist tanks we find there. Push beyond that quickly. The ruined buildings were the administration block, and their armor is likely to regroup there as we storm the airfield. Push forward and clear them out. To the south are the fighter dispersal pens. Clear that area of any resistance, so that our right flank will be free from interference as we move on. Having cleared the airfield area in general, turn towards the railway station at Gumrak. That will be the last place that any of their armor can mass. Make ready, and good hunting! The mighty Wehrmacht is stumbling, comrades! They're out of momentum and they're on the run! Let's drive these invaders back to Germany! Move forward! Yes, sir!
Есть, товарищ командир. Back up! 
Switch to 18. Be ready, Tavarishi. Hold! Yes, sir! 
January 1943, Red October Factory. Comrades, stand to. 
The fascist scum aren't finished here yet, even though we have heard the sounds of our own guns out on the step. They are attacking again, and we have to hold them off again. This attack has no chance of succeeding. Perhaps they think they can break out and escape. <laughs> Perhaps they are trying to expand their pocket. It does not matter. It gives us another chance to make them pay for what they have done to our city. Their attack is coming in through the sheet finishing hall. There may not be much time to form a defense in there, but we will try. Find cover and make them pay as always. Our second line will be in the ruins of the foraging area. The rubble and the basement will provide us with cover, so make the most of it. Beyond there, we have defenses set up in the calibration workshop. There are trenches in there, and we can hold in the administration offices in the center of the building. Our last line of defense will be the finished products warehouse, as always. There is plenty of cover in there, as well as open ground for them to cross to get to it. Not one step back, comrades. Let them come! We will destroy them! Troopers! Only pockets of resistance remain! Now go and cleanse the land of these Bolsheviks!
for a moment! We have won the battle for the motherland! 18th January, 1943, Red October Factory. My friends, now is our time to finish off these fascists. They have been surrounded for weeks now. I know you are also tired, and that we have lost many good friends. We can finish the fighting in the Red October tonight. With one final attack, we know these grounds. We know where to find the enemy. We also know you will fight to the death now. So. If there are any stubborn nests, I want the engineers to blast them back to their fatherland. First, we go to the finished products warehouse. Be careful. Show no mercy. Enough of us have died here. Clear that warehouse, and we can move on. Beyond there, be careful crossing to the calibration warehouse. We will fight our way in. Engineer? Blow up the central admin offices in there, if it will make things easier. Push through to the forging area as quickly as possible. There can't be much left in there to defend it, but don't take stupid risks. The last fascist holdout will be in the sheet finishing hall. Find them all, and destroy them. If all goes well, this will be the last fighting in the Red October. I hope to see you all afterwards. Now! Vataku! We've surrounded these fascists! They underestimated us and failed to take our city! Now is the time for Rick! Get off me! Get down!
Continue! Attack this place! Some more to move! of the Soviet Union. Don't think about death, or your self-belief will drain away. You will lose all your strength. Gather yourself into a fist. Use all your concentration. Don't dwell on your fears or nightmares. Focus on the enemy. Summon all your anger against him. You are stronger than these stinking fritzes. You stand on your own land. Commissar Jakob Terganov, Red October Factory Militia. Thirtieth January, nineteen forty three. Fallen Fighter Square. Uvarish. The honor of the final assault has come to us. What fighting remnants of the fascist Sixth Army are left are trying to hold Fallen Fighter Square and the Univermag beyond, with their headquarters in there somewhere. <laughs> it has taken us until the end of January to get here. But we are here and ready to finish this. What faces us today are the last remnants of the once proud German Sixth Army. These are the last of them fighting in the city, abandoned by their leaders safe in Berlin. They won't surrender, so we must destroy them. So be it. Much of the area is now in ruins, but we will start by attacking the technical school on the corner seems to house one batch of the Hitlerites. Break in, clear the building, destroy any resistance. With our flank clear, we will drive through the square. Start by clearing the center of the park. Your commander can provide smoke to cover the advance if necessary. Catch as many of them in the open as you can. Push to the west end of the park, in front of the Univermag. Then, there will just be the Univermag itself. We must fight our way across the road and into the building. Once inside, finish them off. This is the end of it, my friends. We can finish our battle here, today. 
One last time. For the motherland.
We have won the battle for the motherland!
the Germans came to Stalingrad's gate so full of courage and conviction, so sure of their right to take what is not theirs from the hands of those they once called their allies. Now look at the pride of the fascist war machine. Surrounded, abandoned by their high command, a shameful secret the Fuhrer once forgotten, broken by the iron will of the Soviet people. But let us not forget the price we have paid for victory. The countless men and women of the 62nd Army whose lives were spent in the name of freedom. They have done the impossible, stood firm in the face of an enemy who, until now, had never tasted defeat. Our people are no strangers to victory on the battlefield. Here, in Stalingrad's battered ruins, Mother Russia rose up to show the world Germany can be denied. That their arrogant, barbaric aggression will be tolerated no longer, and that from the ashes of a fallen enemy, hope can emerge.